Close enough. I'm never sure with the the uh, the pets exactly how close they have to be. I'm always afraid they're gonna buckle early and just start dying because uh, once they start falling, you, 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 but on the other hand, sometimes they just take something on that's bigger than they are and just win without taking a death at all. So I'm I'm never uh, never sure how it's gonna play out. Also, now it goes down and only the robot dips up. Do, do I have a pet on vacation? I do! Wait. Rudolph! Doggone you. What the hell you doing, man? You're lying down on the job for some reason. Well, you won't get fed well with the rest of them then. Okay, there we go. That's how it should look. Okay, yeah. I feel I feel a little bit better about this now. Teensy bit. Not much. Okay. So we absolutely can't not even close. No, 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 not even close. Okay, everyone's going to have to eat garbage. Sorry, I have to feed you all crap today. I'm sorry, team. I was too stingy. Alas. All right, then. Well, let me see. I still need to feed 16. So I can trade one. Actually, I can afford to trade two. I can feed chocolate. To my robot. Uh, here, you'll be the ones to get strong food. Oh, you're already done. You can have strong food. And the rest of y'all gets this. Boom. There you go. Okay, everyone. Now. A one hour item run. I even need to send good stuff on this. You know what? Do that. And the leftovers will get enough items to win this thing. <laughs> Seriously. Well, I mean, you got the Guild and the Fairy who are good at item, item gathering. So, you know. But even so, <laughs> the leftovers will score, score enough rocks for me to win. <sighs> and we'll have this resolved by then, too. Yay! And I take a dis. And a dis. And we have all we need here. So all the rest of this can just be splashed on over here. Oh, I guess I should probably knock this guy off real fast. Bonk! Okay. As you were. Alright. So... Unless I'm mistaken, so we're all here. We just got seven times bigger, so... I don't see any way this could fail. Bop. Hmm. Bop. Mm. I'll take that. <laughs> ah, love getting that huge heap like that. Wanna, wanna spend, wanna spend thirty-five dollars on a hundred and sixty? No. Why would anyone do that? Oh, look, you can have a sixty percent bonus. It's doubled? No. <laughs> That's a horrible deal. <laughs> That's okay. I don't actually purchase things like this because I want the things. I already spent my money on this game. You know, you guys know my philosophy on that thing. So. Now. From here. I am basically... Right 
Yeah. I knock down one more. I build my things here. I uh, guess I'll knock over a couple of these as per usual. And uh, yeah. I uh, just have all of this stuff just lying around, unspent. Here you go. Yeah. I think I'll act. I don't think I'll be beating. I don't think I'll be beating any further pea balls. I just want to hold in stasis, but I may actually go green. I may actually go from red to green on this. So, there's that. What am I going to do with you lot? Well, hmm. So you're going to build all the universes all in one go in seven minutes. Okay, you're going to take me ten minutes and then more time and then more time. Mm-hmm. And so... I'm going to give it two hours. And what do the rest of you do for two hours? Look at this. I should fix the dragon. Doggone it, dragon. I also discovered that this this is not actually technically accurate, the way it divides the things up. I mean, it'll give you, like, when it's choosing, it'll choose... It'll choose the best ones, but if you have a difference of one stat point between two of them, it'll always choose the one with one more stat point, even if it doesn't actually, even if it's not actually relevant. It'll just pick the one with the extra stat point. So, you know, it's not perfect. You can you can often divide things better by hand, like what I just did there. But yeah, it's probably super obvious, and you probably already knew that. So, uh, hey, look, Christmas hats. <laughs> Looks like we are successful. There we go. And maybe just scooch a little more. There. All green. And going to go up one more step. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. And... Ah, uh, can I still beat you? Well, first we have to hit some planet eaters. This actually takes me a little bit of time. Once this finishes building, I'll do those. Maybe I'll be able to knock this down. I don't know, it's kind of a long shot, that. But, uh... Hmm. Well, I do have a little bit more I can pour into, uh... Upgrades. Just a smidge. Yeah, look at that. We can definitely hold while doing these challenges. And they take about a day and a half. They'll get faster as I go. Getting better at campaigns means getting better at item campaigns. So. Yeah. Oh, right. I actually have to have poison planets. Right. Well, it doesn't take all that many. I probably only need six or seven at this point. I mean, I've got this thing figured out. So, yeah. The next one, though, he's kind of a pain. The one that needs Earth-like planets and draining planets. Yeah, that one's kind of a pain. It'll take a few rounds to knock down. But I'll probably do 20 more minutes so I can get all of this, pour it into monuments, and then we'll see if maybe I can bring this down. And if I grow a little bit on each one, there's a certain inevitability that I'd, well, continue pushing deeper, even as I'm just focusing on the challenges. Happiness! All right, then. All right. Well, let's take a crack at this, uh, this P-Ball fella over here. Let's see. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. This might 
just work? Maybe. It looks like. Uh, uh, hmm. Hmm. Not good. It was only marginally stronger, slightly, ever so little. Never mind. No, we won. Good grief. That felt close, but I guess we still had seconds. I guess we had more time than I thought. We're still empowered. Okay, no, that, that felt a lot more tense than it actually was. We had a wide margin. And hey, we grow even bigger. Oh, all right. I got 30 from the UV uh, Ultimate Being version 2s anyway. So, you know, yeah, I guess it's worth doing. There. Now we're going to be 20 times as strong, which will not be enough to beat snail. Snail power. It will not be enough to beat snail power over here, but that's okay. If we continue to grow little by little, and eventually when we do decide to push, well, we'll see. I am well pleased. Now, again, yes, yay, even more GP, okay, of course you lot are doing this, you all know the drill, and that, and so on, okay, and we're just going to keep doing things this way. I can't figure out what happened. I I can't figure this out. I've lost a day. I've lost a day. This is where I was. This isn't even You guys saw me beat this UPC. I did the three black holes and all, and... I don't get it. I've lost a day. Like, it's overwritten the uh, the online save and, and everything, and I don't understand why or how or what just happened, but I just... More than a day, actually. I lost a day and a half. I suppose I shouldn't be... It's not... shouldn't be that upsetting. I mean... It's not that big a deal, is it? Okay, yeah, I'm pretty ticked. <laughs> it's, no, it's just, it's just a day and a half. It's fine. Basically puts me back one UPC worth. I was doing really good on that UPC. I timed everything like, ah. Of course, I have no evidence of it now. I had ignored the Mystic Garden side. I'd just done my statues and the upgrades. The Divinity Generator was, it was in the 70s. Um, but... To be beat these, ah, like I was, I was just about 24 hours in, and I was ready to go. I might not have been able to beat Overlord Ball, but I felt like I was close. I was working it the whole time. I really wish I could undo whatever just happened, but unfortunately, my save file is um four days old because I haven't been hitting save. <sighs> Stupid me. Why? Why? What the heck?
I don't even know if it was something I did or if it was just a glitch in the system. I think I did everything as per the normal. Well, I'm gonna go to bed, which means it's gonna spend eight hours in this position. Guess I'll feed you all crap first. God, it's just... Just stupid. All right, fine. All right, look. I don't actually need very many to do a run if it's gonna be like all night, so I'll just send you two. All right, do it. Bunch of you are gonna do a growth campaign. The rest of you can be, well, okay, hold on. My one thing that's good at a multiplier campaign is spared this. I mean, I've been doing growth campaigns and food campaigns and I kept them reasonably well fed throughout it. Uh, I thought it was the best UPC that I had done so far, which just means that I'm going to have to do better now to make up for this this travesty. Of course, I'll probably never do as good again. <laughs> because, you know, it's usually how these things kind of... It's usually how these things go. It's the fish that got away that's always the really big one, right? Or is that just because the fishermen are always lying? Is this... Was this before I pulled the lucky draws? Or after? I, I don't even... Oh man, I lost a lucky draw or two, too. I don't know. Whatever, if you gotta sit through the night anyway, I guess I'm just going to, um... Be annoyed. I'd even been... Man... In 24 hours, I wasn't far behind this either. Ah, anyway. <sighs> I was going to talk about what I was thinking about doing next, but you know what? I'm just going to go to bed. I'm just not even going to deal with this anymore. It's set up for the night. Ah. <sighs> All right. Now... I think I've just about made up for that setback, almost. Hmm. Let that build up a little bit longer. And I can do this to boost myself a little more. Just a smidge more power. Okay. Okay, let's see how we're looking now. Jupiter down. Eh, I'm gonna have to let it run through the night. Get these last three. No, I'm still not caught up. Doggone it. Well, I kn knew I was set back a day and a half, so. <sighs> All right then. Hmm. Well, while I sleep, you lot need to... Let's prioritize food. Let's be optimistic. Let's say I'm going to get seven hours tonight. And... I don't know, I could just send a couple of you on this. You and... Yeah... Maybe you. That's plenty. And the rest of you can do a level up campaign. Yay! Ugh. 
Then I'll have to do a couple more hour long campaigns. Hmm. Don't want to burn up all this. I still need to make my black holes. Yeah. Enough. Uh, I'm going to stick all of you on Mystic Garden detail now. Actually, through the night, probably, most of you are going to end up doing worker clones. Some of you are going to end up being stuck on uh, UB detail. Some of you should probably be doing those. i got plenty of things to stick clones on. But some of you are going to be on garden detail. The goat's hungry. It must feed. It'll eat the entire gardens. <clears throat> All right, so now we're back to where I had been. Still not green. Hmm. Let's fix that real fast. I don't even need to unleash my might. I've got snail power, man. Snail power. And two more GP. Okay. So. How is it? How is it? I mean, I'm two days in. What's going on here? Oh! <coughs> oh, I get it. My rebirth... <coughs> my, my, uh... I didn't do as many of these. Uh... <coughs> How close are we? We are not too far. Unfortunately, my schedule for the next week is going to absolutely make it impossible for me to do the one-hour pet rebirth thing. I would end up doing eight- and ten-hour runs. So day of pet challenges are just not in the cards for now. So I have... We're at a fork. I could go two different directions. I could try to slow roll up, up, up. But even in a two-day run, I can't get, seem to grow. <clears throat> so, at three days per tick, at the very least. And for how long could I maintain that? The other option would be to start doing these a whole bunch a whole bunch of these challenges but a pork doesn't uh, what fork has only two prongs there's always more than that I could just go diving all the way down and get back to doing the god skip challenges and pee ball challenges and that fun stuff. And if I do decide to go down, well, I might as well take the black holes on the way. Uh, <clears throat> oh, one way or the other, I think we're doing a black hole. Yes. Yes. Right. Donk. Oh my gosh. It's just so much GP all at once. Another thing I was thinking about was if I put another 5,000 uh, 5, on here, it would actually help with the day pet challenges to make them faster. But, uh, yeah, at the moment I'm not going to worry about that too much. that up. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Now then. How fast can I do a black hole challenge at this point? Or should I just continue going for threes? 
Hmm. I don't know. Probably not. How many do I actually need to make just two? Uh, thunk. Hmm. Well, anyway, we'll figure this out. <clears throat> Shouldn't take too long. Shouldn't take too long to make a black hole. And I'll grab some crystal power and such like on the way. We'll just keep building, increasing. Ah, uh, jeez. How much should I devote to powering up my pets? And how much should I be devoting to their growth? Hmm. Pets are a significant percentage of my power these days, you know? You know? All right, then. I want to purchase more clones. It would be such a big deal to have more clones. I really need a higher creation count. Before I start doing the ultimate universes, if I could just get, get it up a little higher. Let's see. Hmm. 2,500 to up it by 50, where I, which is what I'd want to give it. Oh, yeah, turn that off. All right, well, anyway. <laughs> ah, well, this one went quite a bit longer than I'd intended, but we completed the challenge, and we are moving on. How bad is it? Uh, not so bad bad, all things considered. I mean, we're not, I wouldn't say that we're holding in stasis. Part of it's this over here, but we're not falling down too far. Hmm. So we go ahead, we request another one. <clears throat> and hopefully do a little bit better this time. Hopefully, Doo -doo. crunch. Just 46? Snap of my fingers. It's there. It's done. You know what I'm going to do? There. Get ahead a little bit. <laughs> We are amassing power on each and every one of these. Even if we're only getting about one run a day. I mean, we should be getting faster. We will be getting faster. I could speed these up. Man, I want another million clones. Uh... I don't know. I estimate we're getting about 2% stronger a day. Approximately. Maybe a little better than that. If we're doing one of these each day. That's counting the GP and the crystal power and so forth. But it's not bothering to count this because these Speaking of which, oh, why is it 200? It's not a very good effect. I just don't like playing this this over here. Uh, it's another thing a million clones would do for me. I'd be better at that ultimate universe challenge. Hmm. <laughs> On the other hand, this has been going quite well. We're up to five multiplier, which I think is pretty freaking awesome. Okay, so this one ended up running a bit longer than I had wanted, uh, just the way things worked out, but let's see, let's go with an Unleash Might. 
Do I have everything? I think I have everything. Wait a second. Oh, oh, oh. Gotta get three more of these in first. Ah, eh, we'll just knock a few of these down real fast. Okay. I'll take a moment to... By the way, I should alter this. Now, oh, I can't see how many I need. Okay, probably, probably can bring this number down to 30 now, I hope. And that'll be good. Um, See, I'm actually going to be able to do... I'm actually going to be able to be a little bit more active and get a couple more uh, ultimate pet challenges in in the next couple of days. I guess I'm just going to leave you doing this. Okay. And I need to do this. <sighs> this is going to take me a little bit. <laughs> we'll come. We'll, we'll be. We'll be right back. Okay, we're good. Unleash! Hmm, that's not very promising. No, no, we can do this. If we keep the rhythm going, we got it. Maybe. Okay, I'm less, less certain. It's close. It's not good enough. I'm not moving fast enough. I'm I got to be I got to get I got to get more HP and no, I got to get more HP regen and more attack power. Well, I guess this run is going to last one more hour. Hmm. So, we're not quite halfway, and we've used up all of it. Okay, that tells me all I need to know right there. So, in an hour, I need to gain a good bit. Hmm. Well, a one-hour multiplier run could help with that. The rest of you can do this. Yeah, the bunny's not with them, but whatever, it'll do. What about the rest of you? Okay. Mm. An hour's worth of this should result in... Probably not 60, but probably a whole, you know, because each time it takes longer than the one before it, but, I don't know, 40 to 50-ish more percent, something like that. Well, I mean, there's already 73, so that makes it more like 20 to 30 percent, approximately. Anyway, it's, it's a gain. It's a gain, and the pets will gain. And we'll continue with the uh, all of this stuff, all of, all of this stuff here, as always, because there's just that continual growth. And oh, and I can beat another one of these. That's worth something. Not to mention, it gives me divinity to spend, which I can pour into. Probably go with the mighty statues for more attack power. Nah, I could split the upgrades again. They're both good. Alright. One more hour. Hmm. Right then. Round two. Fight! Oh yeah, we got this this time. Oh, you are so done. You are done! Teach you to be a pee ball. Jerk. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna buy some rocks. <laughs> Crunch. Slowly chewing on them. Ah, 
Ah, there we go. Very nice. 13 pet stones for 39 BP. What a deal. Okay, so... As I was saying before... I think I can do a couple UPCs again. Yeah. Okay. So, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I want to do them all, but, you know, my schedule doesn't always comply. Hmm. Oh yeah, updates. We got a thing now. <clears throat> I actually am not going to use it, though, because I'll just be careful spending my stuff. I usually think pretty hard before I spend my, my GP, so... But it's nice, I guess. If I just got in the habit of spamming the uh, build speed every single time I came in here, then it would be nice to have a have a little wall that I can set up to prevent me from overspending. Okay, and so we're back to this. However, my pets have actually gotten quite a bit stronger, and I have really been actually thinking about more build speed. Uh, because that's one of the few things that can make UPCs faster. I'd like to buy five, but the price is pretty high. Oh, what the hell? We're going to do it. There. This will help me get through... Uh, you know what? I'm going to go like this. Okay, that's still not nearly enough. We'll go down to 18. So, the build speed will help me get through these. I really want to get up to 10,000 and do a big thing where I boost my creation count, my clones, and everything. But this, this is good. This will help. And uh, it'll even help with my black hole challenges. Speaking of wick... Oh, crap. I can't see. Right, until I beat Diana. I was going to see what the new uh, black hole, you know, what, what, what it takes to make a black hole these days. But, or to upgrade it more specifically is what I'm concerned about. But alas, it is not to be for now. For now. So, hopefully... I'll knock this one out faster than the previous ones. And, uh... Yeah. There's nothing else for me to say. <laughs> Hopefully I'll knock this one out faster than the previous ones. I don't like having to feed them fish food. Well, it, it could be fish food. A bowl of fish food with a cherry on top. We don't know. We're not getting a good look at what's in there. Right, then. Actually, usually I end up feeding them uh, uh, free food, which looks like mouse droppings to me still. Right, so, at first this might not seem like I'm talking about idling to rule the gods, but <clears throat> you'll see the connection. So, I used to play a game for quite a long time called Dawn of the Dragons. And it was a good game. I mean, I liked it anyway. I was enjoying it. The company came along at one point and decided, you know, we figured out how to make this, this kind of weird game here that's it's, it's kind of unusual, but people seem to like it. And we've already got this whole engine and this thing figured out. Why don't we make a second game using essentially the resources we've already got? <clears throat> So they made a game called Legacy of a Thousand Sons. Now, Legacy of a Thousand Sons was practically the same game, only in some ways it was better. There was less content because it was younger and it wasn't getting quite as much development done to it, but it had freaking badass art and it was, you know, it was a good game. Unfortunately, the company realized something that they, they had made a terrible mistake. See, 
because these games, these two games were essentially identical in terms of gameplay, players tended to either play one or the other, but not both. So they had essentially, they were essentially competing with themselves. So eventually they decided to close out one of the two and they chose to get rid of Legacy of the Thousand Suns because, well, it had the smaller player base. People playing Dawn of the Dragons didn't usually decide to, to commit to uh, Legacy of a Thousand Suns. So they closed out this game. They had this big awesome thing at the end where they ran like all their events and everything. I was there for it. It was cool. And shut it down, hoping to get what they could of this player base to go over to Dawn of the Dragons. <clears throat> and then they would all, then they would be able to focus everything on just the one. And also they started making other games that were different, aiming at different markets. So, why am I talking about this? Well, this is the best summary I can give of what I think of Idle Cooking Emperor. Now I have I haven't played it since it first first came out. There have been additions, but that's kind of how I felt. This might pan out to be a better game. I don't know why I can't scroll this. This might pan out to be a better game than Idling to Rule the Gods or not. It's hard to say, but it's essentially the same game, which is why I wasn't really playing it cuz I've invested I've invested all this time into this one over here, and it's still getting updates, and I'm enjoying it, so, you know, if I'm going to play another idle game, I should play something radically different, like Trimps or Realm Grinder, which I am doing, um, rather than playing a game that's almost identical. So, now, something has happened. Something has changed, and I'm going to be playing Idling Cooking Emperor for a little while. Ice. It's even got a cool little acronym and everything. And I'm not going to drop Idling to Rule the Gods, but I'm only going to play Cooking Emperor up to a certain point. And that point is... Oh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, what is going on? Oh no! Oh no! Oh poo. Okay, give me a second and I'll show you what I saw. It surprised me. Uh, it had been on my laptop though, which I usually play on uh, the laptop set to congregate. It doesn't have the Steam version. Um, because if I had the Steam version of the laptop, I wouldn't be able to play Realm Grind. I, anyway, Steam is a pain in the butt. So what I need is... Okay, I'll show you. I'll show you. Most of you are probably already aware of this anyway, but it's all right. We got this. We got this. Okay. All right. So on the Congregate version... It'll get updated soon enough, I'm sure, to the Steam version as well. On the, the Congregate version is mildly different from the Steam version of Idling to Rule the Gods at this second. Okay, at the time of making this video. By the time you see it, it probably already has been fixed. Because I can't imagine it'll take long. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Come on. Oh my gosh. Come on. Come on. There you go. Okay. Yeah, get 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 that out of there. This! This here! This is what changed. A golden dragon from an ancient cooking empire. It likes to cook food with go with gold? No, I hadn't read the description before. I, I saved it for when I had the camera running, okay? Okay, well, fine. I mean, uh, I, 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 could, given the things that I can survive, gold is probably not going to kill me. Actually, I don't think it's even a toxic metal. I think you could eat gold and it would just pass through. Yeah, I'm pretty sure of that. 
It is normal in all campaigns. Oh. If you feed it, you think it'd be good at food campaigns. If you feed it, all other pets you own also receive growth. Uh, 25% of... Uh, does that include the sauce? Anyway, it gives, it gives a 25% bonus. Yeah, wow. Okay, yeah. Oh, you'd want to save your chocolate and give it all to this thing. Hmm. Its growth is only 300, but still. Chances 100% for a full feed. Oh, this actually favors full feedings, does it? Interesting. Interesting. But yeah, I gotta have this. Gotta have it. And... Or I first bumped into it was over here. You can import your points from Idle Cooking Emperor, which as far as I can tell, your points don't do anything. But you can export your points to Idle Cooking Emperor stats page after you beat area 30. Okay, so I gotta beat 30 and then you will receive your golden pet, dragon pet. Yeah, that's it. So, I am going to start playing Idle Cooking Emperor for a little while. Oh good, now I can scroll? There we go. Boy, there's a lot that's gone on, but these are going to get their own little videos. How much has been added to this game? A lot! Achievements? Evolution system? Wait, what? Uh, hmm. Hmm. Sounds like they may have actually... This game may have actually uh, gone down its own path a bit. We'll have to see. Oh, good. I still have my stuff from last time. What is that thing? Is that is that one of my pets that evolves? Or is that just a keychain? That could be a keychain. Go to areas and click to explore. Wait until you reach 100 preparation. See the theme. Pond is using. Okay, anyway. Oh, good. Looks like this has been running for quite some time. Well! We shall investigate this in the next video. Until then, until next time and every time, this is Hadrix signing off. Bye.